Let's talk about CryptoZoo. Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm your beautiful host, Young Buffett, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about CryptoZoo. It's been a while, did you guys miss me? We're gonna talk about Hatch Day, we're gonna talk about the Zoo Token, we're gonna talk about what to expect, what to do, where to go, what to look for, and how to play this whole thing. But before we do that, I gotta tell you guys something. So, you know how when you want to buy a domain for your website, you have to pay for a subscription? Well, with Unstoppable Domains, you only have to pay once and never have to worry about renewal fees. So you truly own your domain. With an unstoppable NFT domain, you can set up and edit decentralized websites, build your reputation with a verified Twitter handle, and connect over 50 wallets and exchanges all under one universal NFT username. But the best part is they picked Polygon for a layer two scaling solution. So starting November 15th, that means no subscriptions and no more crazy gas fees. To claim your new internet name, check out the link in my description to learn more. Now, let's talk about CryptoZoo. So, you guys want like a story time or... So, you guys want like a story time or I don't know, just sit back, relax, listen to the sound of my voice. Make sure you're subscribed, take a deep breath, grab some popcorn, hit that like button, etc., etc. You guys know what to do. I know it's been a while, but you guys know what to do. And you know what? Let's just do let's just do a quick rundown of where we are, where we started, where we're going and I, there's a lot of new people here, so let's just catch them up real quick. <laughs> So Logan Paul announced his NFT project, right? And uh, I saw there was a token to go along with it. So I bought some, I made a TikTok video about it. Then it shot up 400% and it went kind of crazy. And then they did a contract migration for what they said was a security protocol purposes or whatever. And then they had their egg pre-sale and it was supposed to happen on September 1st, but then it got delayed to September 3rd because they had some like token migration issues and people got stuck in the V1 and then they had to move over to V2. But anyways, a lot of Australian people stayed up for like two days straight waiting on Discord for the whole thing to come out. It, it got kind of crazy. It was brutal. It was fun. It was an adventure. We made friends. We bonded together. But anyways, the price of the zoo token held up because there was a utility. There was a reason to buy because you could mint eggs using zoo token and get a 10% discount, even though the volatility was like more than 10%. So it was kind of just scary to hold zoo. But Anyways, you could buy using Zoo, you could buy using Ethereum uh, on OpenSea, but I didn't do that because I don't like gas fees. So anyways, they sold out of the eggs within seconds. I managed to mint three of them on the Binance Smart Chain Network. Uh, a ton of people bought on BSC and then the other half of people bought on OpenSea. That's all great. Everyone got their eggs. The price of the token then started to slowly drop because there's no reason to own that token if there's no eggs to be bought or sold on the zoo network, right? So they did another contract migration for security purposes and then they said that's their last time. So we're on the V3 token now. So if you bought zoo like months ago and then haven't looked at it yet and you think your account balance is zero, uh, check the new address. You might have some zoo, <laughs> but anyways, uh, then Logan hopped on telegram with us and talked about the project. So that was cool. And then a few AMAs later here and there, uh, Logan jumped on discord and then talked about the project with us. So that was cool too. Uh, and then the people who bought on OpenSea could openly buy and sell more eggs, put it up for sale, whatever. And then people bought more and more eggs. Some people sold their eggs, but overall the people who bought the eggs using the zoo token have had their eggs locked away and we can't buy or sell them yet because the marketplace isn't out yet. So there's nothing we can do until we saw app.cryptozoo.co get released and that's where they were testing stuff so they went live with it very quietly they didn't like announce like oh our app is live because it's not really live they were just testing stuff so that went live that was cool to see what the ui looks like and whatnot but at the time of this recording you can't buy or sell eggs on there yet uh, if you're watching this video 
past November 3rd, where the marketplace and the hatch day happens, um, then you can actually do stuff. But anyways, they announced that the hatch day is tomorrow or November 3rd, uh, depending on when you're watching this video. I don't know. I also don't know where you live, so it might be November 4th. I don't care. I'm just sticking to my time zone because that's the only thing that matters in my brain. But... That means the eggs that we bought in September can now be opened and closed and sold and, you know, whatever. It, we'll get a base animal and NFT that comes out of it finally. But it's not going to yield anything yet because they haven't built in the, the yielding function thing yet. So I don't, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, they announced that um, you're going to be buying and selling your eggs using the zoo token, which is is going to bring utility to the zoo token. So I'm excited to see what happens to the price of zoo when that gets released. But then there will eventually be a bridge and then you can use the bridge to bridge your Ethereum eggs to zoo eggs and maybe vice versa. But I'm not entirely sure. Don't quote me on that. But as soon as we hatch the eggs, we're just going to be waiting again for the game to be released. Um, where you can actually like breed your nfts i don't know if that functionality is going to be active tomorrow I, I i doubt it but anyways we're going to get the base animals and then maybe you can breed them and make a hybrid animal but anyways all of this costs zoo to do um which again i just keep saying in like all of my crypto zoo videos you're gonna need utility you're gonna need a reason to buy use and hold zoo and burn zoo, which is deflationary. So it's gonna be awesome. But all of the NFTs yield zoo, and then you can pretty much treat it like a piggy bank. Uh, it'll keep growing and growing until you wanna cash it out. Then you have to burn your NFT to withdraw that zoo that's inside. Uh, they call it uh, letting it go into the wild or whatever, but that's the only way to redeem your zoo. Or you can sell that NFT with that yielded zoo inside of it for at or above its worth does that make sense if there's like a hundred dollars worth of zoo in it that nft by intrinsic value would be at or above a hundred dollars i hope that makes sense but anyways we'll see we'll see what all that functionality looks like when it all comes out giving us more reasons to make youtube videos about it because i've been literally sitting here for weeks maybe like a month just trying to figure out what to even say about the project because we're just waiting there's nothing really to do but wait but that's pretty much everything to get caught up we're waiting for the marketplace release we're waiting for a roadmap that'll talk about their plans and their timelines and we're waiting on the bridge to go live um we're waiting for our eggs to hatch there's just a bunch of waiting but while you wait can i interest you in clicking that sub button down there it's a subscription button it's red it's right under this video if you just click it really quick um it, you'll never miss a thing and then we can be friends but I get a ton of messages asking questions, so feel free to ask me anything in the comments below. One question that I get is, how high can Zoo Token go? I don't know, nobody knows, but the all-time high was 0 .0012 or something like that. So we're at 0.0025-ish right now. So we have one more zero to eat. <laughs> the reason why People bought the zoo token previously. Again, like I said, they wanted to buy eggs, right? So the reason why people might buy zoo token again is what? Say it with me. To buy eggs. A reason. Give them a reason to buy the token. And I'm really bullish about the token, so I'm super excited to see what's going to happen. There's literally been no marketing on this project yet other than like posts from their Twitter uh, and my TikTok, I guess, if you want to call that marketing. The first video we posted got 1.3 million views. The second video got about half a million views. So we'll see what happens when Mr. Logan Paul and the team launch any sort of marketing. But they're not going to launch marketing for something that doesn't really exist, right? They're, they're going to need a marketplace. They're going to need a roadmap. They're going to need a breedable NFT game. Uh, nobody wants to buy an NFT to not then be able to do anything with it when they thought it was a game. So we're, we're gonna have to wait for that to come out. Um, another question is, where can you buy Zoo Token? I get that question a lot. Well, there you got a few options. You can go to PooCoin. <laughs> That's a website where you can actually see the charts for everything, but you can swap there. 
uh, that uses um, pancake swap you could use pancake swap directly you could go to app.cryptozoo.co um, which will just take you right back to pancake swap but something important you need uh, bsc to swap to zoo uh, you can get bsc on trust wallet or metamask or wherever you get your binance coin uh, just make sure that it's configured to the binance smart chain network uh, you can google how to do that it'll give you a step-by-step -step tutorial i think i even probably have videos that show that but zoo uh is on the binance smart chain network because they have gas fees that are super super cheap compared to something like ethereum so i'm sticking exclusively to the zoo native stuff like the marketplace and stuff i'm not dealing with OpenSea and anything like that i don't want to pay gas fees such a waste of money but uh people ask me what i plan to do with zoo token i get like a ton of dms what are you gonna do what's your strategy i have a video that talks about my strategy i can link it somewhere but pretty much i own three eggs i'm gonna hatch two of them i'm gonna leave one unhatched for later and just see what happens uh that way i can keep track of the value of the unhatched eggs and see if i want to sell it later i don't know um maybe i'll open it i don't i don't really care but I'm also curious to see what the price of the eggs are going to be when the marketplace launches because there's going to be a lot of people who want to buy a ton and there's going to be a ton of people who want to sell because they've been stuck holding it and they haven't had that liquidity for like a month or so and in the world of crypto that's a that's like holding something for 10 years so <laughs> we'll see what happens we'll see what two animals i get from the eggs um i might even if you can if their marketplace allows for it i might even just buy other animals directly instead of buying an egg so i can pick and choose what i want and then breed what i want i don't know um i can make a video later about the marketplace once it opens up i just thought i'd get this video i, I missed you guys i missed making content about crypto zoo so we'll see uh just this whole video recap is uh we'll see but anyways as for the zoo token itself i'm curious to see what happens to the price because we're in an interesting position um a lot of what we have right now is pretty much free it's casino money we wrote up that 400 percent increase in the beginning uh when we were on the v1 token contract pre-migration so a lot of what i'm holding right now is just profits from that initial run-up i swing traded it here and there a couple times but overall i'm, I'm in a fairly risk-free position the only thing i'm risking is the profits uh, the opportunity cost, I guess, but up or down, I don't really care. Uh, I'm just going to be holding it for a little bit, maybe locking in some profits here and there. I might sell, I might buy back. Um, I'm just going to play it. I'm going to have fun with it. If there's no game, I might as well make my own game from the actual zoo token itself. Again, we're just waiting for marketing. We're waiting for a roadmap. We're waiting for the yielding function on the NFTs, any mini games, some a reason to buy, use and hold zoo. Well, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I love you. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, let me know if I should go live or something uh, and like hatch my eggs. I don't know. We'll see. I love you. Bye.